Hey everyone, how's it going today? My name is Lamora, and welcome back to yet another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. We are still here in the Rising Stones, and we're just going to talk to Memphili to get our next quest active. The Sea Rises. Uh, once again, I don't think any of these are actually good in comparison to what I normally wear. This is kind of end gear, where this is, as you can see, item level... 90? Wait, what? Okay, it was comparison. It was what I had equipped to what I had. Sorry, my brain stopped working. The sea rises. Menphilia wishes to share some per uh, final words on the coming mission prior to departing for Limzo Lamensa. Plainly, should the worst come to pass and Leviathan is summoned, our only recourse will be to face him in battle. Given past experience, you may very well think that eventua eventuality inevitable. Think that eventuality inevitable. Yet, so long as there is even a chance that the Primal's return might be prevented, we must needs bend all our efforts towards achieving that goal. Before we do aught else, let us hasten to Limsa Liminsa and meet with the Admiral. She will not have been idle in this intervening time, and will doubtless have valuable information to share. All right, so to Limsa Liminsa we will go, and hopefully, well, you know, I kind of hope that the Prime will get summoned. I could use a good fight. Okay, um, I just had to take a half a second to see. Looks like our quest is here. I just want to be sure I didn't have to go to the Grand Company up to the Aft Castle, so... Since I don't, we can just take a quick little sprint here. No extra cutting necessary. Except for when we come up here and it loads again. But hey, that's besides the point. You are expected. Pray take this lift to the command room. Welcome, friends. I take it your Stola has appraised you of the situation. I don't remember how to do her voice, and I don't think I could, so whatever, that's it. Let us waste no time, then. According to our best intelligence, the Sahagin had not crystals enough to summon their god. Not crystals enough to summon... Yeah, I guess that's how that sentence goes, huh? Alas, we did not count on the Serpent Reavers venturing as far as Thanalan to supplement their cash, for our short-sightedness, we are faced with the grim prospect of Leviathan's immediate return. Needless to say, I am not inclined to let the fishbacks have their way. Even as we speak, the Maelstrom makes ready to launch a large-scale operation to thwart the summoning, and we could welcome the Scion support in this endeavor. But. If gods forbid our efforts should come to naught, I will need trouble you for more than more mere support, much as I did when Titan last walked these lands. Lady Minfilia, I am given to understand that you mean to accompany our soldiers to the front lines. I can only assume that you have sound reasons for doing so. I do, Admiral. But I would rather not be drawn in on their nature. I will say only that there is something I would see with mine own eyes. Is that so? Well, I am not so stubborn as to deny the wishes of one, it's one whose aid I require, but precautions must be taken. I shall require that you remain by my side at all times. With that settled, let us speak of the operation. Corporal Nia, our scouts are currently reconnoitering Sahagan movements within the Saspa, Saspa spawning grounds. Spa, Saspa? Sa, hmm. Upon completing the mission, they will return to the operation staging point at Camp Skull Valley. I want you to make your way there forthwith, that you might be appointed of the latest intelligence. Commander Falkbreda has charge of the garrison. Okay, meet with Falk Brida. Falk Brida? Falk Brida. I don't know how to pronounce anything in this game. Everything is like foreign Shakespearean gibberish to me. We are seriously just one for where art thou? 
away from being a full Shakespeare play. I mean, it may have already happened and I didn't even pay attention to it. Maybe I, I denied it and blocked it out because I didn't want it to happen. I knew, I knew the consequences of what would happen if we noticed it. What consequences are those? I have no fucking idea. I've just said words as they spewed out of my brain hole, which happens to be my mouth. Uh, I think I need to go to the person up here and see the green check. I've been expecting you, Scion of the Seventh Dawn. On behalf of the men and women here, I thank you for your cooperation. The safety of our citizens is paramount. With your aid, we will prevent the Leviathan's, Leviathan's return. Yes, we shall. I'll take them silver pieces, though. Fireworks and fish don't mix. Take more silver pieces. Fogbreda would have you assist in diversionary maneuvers. As you may already know, Maelstrom scouts have been dispatched to reconnoitre the Saspa spawning ground. Saspa spawning grounds. I don't know how to pronounce that at all. It's weird. It's a weird combination. Among other things, they have orders to determine where Leviathan might emerge, assuming it comes to that. That our scouts might move unhindered and return unscathed, diversionary maneuvers are presently underway. In charge of these maneuvers is Ud Jungal. If you are otherwise unoccupied, mayhap you would be willing to offer her your aid. Uh, sure, but who the hell is- oh, it's you, okay. You're here to help with the diversions? Well, you're supposed to be that in irreplaceable adventure the success of the operation is hanging on. I'm inclined to say it's not worth risking your neck for something so trifling such as this, but if the hero insists, who am I to argue? Here, take these explosives. Use them to blow the Sahagin pav pavises? Sky high, and create a commotion in Halfstone, the likes of which the fishbacks have never seen. That ought to keep them good and occupied. Oh, and in the event the Sahagin come after you, there's no need to be shy. Stay around, get yourself to acquainted, whatever it takes to buy more time for our scouts. Cause havoc. That is something I can definitely do. Reading? I ain't good at no reading, ma. But cause and distractions and destruction? I can do that all day and night, my dude. Uh, I think it's easier to go up this way. I wish good that there's a second way to go. I always go down uh, this path because it leads right over to my Beast Tribe daily quest. So I, I never really come up and around, almost ever. I can think probably on like, probably on one hand I could count how many times I've actually come up through this way. I mean, I've been up in this area, but again, I usually just come up and around like that. Anyways, luckily we're a pretty good level right now. I, I passed where I need to be. So nothing here should bother us, even when we dismount here. We should just be unaccosted as we do our, our thing. Obviously, oops, it's a aerial effect. Obviously, I think things will spawn as soon as we do. And they'll want to say some things. Oh, not right here. Well, that's good. That's good to know. So let's get our next one prepped. As soon as we get in the area, we'll be able to toss it. Is someone else doing the mission too? Eh, not quite. Alright, where's the next one, eh? I'm ready to throw them explosives and cause the distractions like like Ma always said I was good at it. Uh, just trying to plot my course. There's another one over here it's telling me. Oops. It's a Haugen. Wow, I just literally uh, <laughs> targeted everyone except for the one that I actually wanted. I really should change that tab to the closest one to me. I've just never done it. I know it's something I need to do, I should do, but meh. It's like... Uh, 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 I was hoping I could get it <laughs> and it would stop me. Alright, I definitely don't want to interact with this. This thing will kill me. Like, instantly. Uh, it said there was a Sahagin presence. Oh, here they are. Hey, can you guys come and play with me? Both of you, up close, so I can Art of War both of you at the same time. <sighs> Alright, there we go. Now they're close. I just don't want this one to uh, do be part of it. It didn't even matter. The other one died instantly. Thanks, Momo. Appreciate it. Don't see me. Don't attack me. 
That thing is dangerous as hell. And then this should be the last one. The pop fist. Thankfully, none of the Sahagin who are just normally patrolling this area give a shit about me. So we're pretty good there. Uh, you two. You're about to die. Oh, you two are about to die. God, I love the area with that nice thing can cover. It's so helpful. It truly is. Alright, let's finish that up. That should be about good. And now we should be able to return. Report on our success. Though unfortunately, future spoilers, it's not going to be enough. Leviathan shall be summoned and we shall have to do a primal fight. I'm excited for it. <laughs> I like more primal fights. More things to do, break up the monotony of the, the roulettes and the dailies that I have to do anyway, so the more the better. It sounds like the division was a success. I I had the fireworks all the way over here. My thanks, friend. We've done all we can do for our scouts. All that's left is to pray that they return safely. Uh, I don't think so, because you seem to have a new quest for us. Scouts in distress. Falk Brita is growing ever more agitated by the minutes. More silver pieces, and none of this is good. Okay. Our scouts are long overdue. I fear that ill may have befallen them. For better or worse, we may ascertain their fate. If it is not too much to ask, I would have you aid us in our search. Five scouts ventured into Sapsa, all towed. Here, take this flask of restorative to tend to those who may have been wounded. Though it pains me to even consider the notion, if they have, if they have perished, circumstances permitting, I ask that you recover their bodies. By no means venture too deep into enemy territory, however, uh, we can ill afford to lose you at this juncture. All right. Well, clearly, since they haven't reported back, things are amiss. And that means we're going to be using our beefy arms to carry some dead bodies back. <laughs> Could you imagine just seeing her walking with like five different bodies just piled on top of one shoulder? She's just holstering. <laughs> holstering. I, I can't think of the word. I mean, hefting, I guess you could say. Like, if you were like, it, there's an H word. It's almost like hoisting. Hoisting. Hoisting is the is the word I was looking for. Just imagine her hoisting five bodies over her shoulder as she just walks over the horizon, just like not even breaking a sweat. Oh, I'd love to see it. Oh, hey, look, they're over here somewhere. Um, question is, where are they? Are they in here? Oh, there, there's one. Help somebody of all the times to forget the restorative. Don't worry, I have one for you. Thank you. I owe you my life. We were ambushed by the Serpent Reavers. Lightly armed as we are, we didn't stand, the chance, stand a chance. I was able to flee this far, but the others were captured. They were taken to the Serpent's Tongue, I'm certain of it. I can make my own way back to camp, but I fear the worst for my comrades. Save them, I beg of you. Well, that's why I was sent out in the first place. Don't you worry, my dude. Corporal? I'm, I'm above a private. I don't remember my ranking. Maybe it's corporal. Maybe I'm sergeant. I can't remember. I'll just say corporal Nia's on the way. And luckily, once again, we are overleveled, so... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Spoke too soon. I was going to say I'm overleveled, so nothing should bother me, but... Such is not the case. Hopefully that sea wasp will lose sight of me here sometime soon. Alright, let's just art of war these idiots. Whoever dares tussle with Nia. I will murder you all. That's one down. Let's get this one as well. Nice and easy. Alright, well unfortunately, it's not five. It's only two. So we're not going to look nearly as badass as I imagined in my head. I guess you could say one for each shoulder, but I would like to do one stacked on top of the other on one shoulder. Makes me look more badass. You know, it really commands respect. That's what it's really all about. Commanding respect. I mean, if you were someone's enemy, right, and you saw them carrying 
five bodies on one shoulder, not breaking a sweat and be like, dude, I'm not fucking with you. Like, good day. I'm going to lay down. Uh, I'm going to play dead. I'm going to act like I never saw you. I'm going to go about my day after that. If you permitted me to allow me to do that, uh, if you want to kill me, I understand it's your prerogative. But if you are so willing to let me live, I will forget you wherever. Oh, get me off this thing. <laughs> Get stuck on a damn environment. I'm the hero, damn it. All rocks, flora, and fauna. Everything should just part away from me. Like Moses and the sea. <laughs> you imagine the earth just like splits so it's like a straight path for me. Mountains just cracking open so I have a straight path. That'd be amazing. To be a god. That would be grand. Okay, well, we can now turn in this mission. Hopefully, we can do something a little bit more exciting in the next part. You've returned. Thank you, Navigator. When I learned that you were in this... Uh, I'm sorry, I completely lost my right self there. When I learned that you went to the Serpent's Tongue by yourself, I feared you would meet an untimely demise. But tell me, what became of the others? What do you mean, when you learned? You're the one who sent me there. Like, what? I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> Dear gods... These wounds were not intended to kill, but to torture and maim. Does their savagery know no bounds? Enemies are no, they go too far. I guess she didn't technically send us to the Serpent's Tongue. She just sent it out to scout, but hey. I dreaded to think that uh, think what may have become of the two who remained unaccounted for. I pray that they hadn't suffered the same evil fate. At the very least, one of my men came back alive, and for that I owe you uh, my thanks. The price we paid was dear, but we have the intelligence we need. Even as we speak, the Admiral finalizes the details of the operation. The war horns will sound any moment now. Be ready to sally forth when they do. Alright, scouts in distress. I'm gonna take them silver pieces, thank you very much. The Gift of Eternity. Falk Breda awaits the commem commencement of the operation with barely concealed rage. Thrice damned fishback bastards, I'll kill them slowly and then chase their rotten souls through all seven hells. I like her pink boots though. Oh, man, feeling is so tiny. I love it. In comparison to all these giants around her. Peace, Commander. We are here for a purpose, and vengeance is not it. I want your mind on the task at hand, Savvy. M my apologies, Admiral. You may count on me to keep a, keep a clear head. Good. According to our sole surviving scout, the Sahagin and their thralls have already begun to amass at an aetherite in the, dip, the depths of Sapsa. If we are to act, it must be now. The men are ready, but await your orders, Admiral. As predicted, the Sahagin have tightened secu uh, security in and around the sweeping grounds, the spawning grounds, I'm sorry, <laughs> and frontal assault is like to be met with fierce resistance. Ah, but we are not so artless as that, Commander. We shall divide our forces and strike them hard and fast at key locations. Remember, our ultimate objective is to take the Saspa, Sapspa, I don't, I, I don't even know. Uh, Sapspa Aetherite and eliminate the Sahagan priest presiding over the summoning. We are not here to kill them all. The Maelstrom shall engage and distract the Sahagan legion of drowned pirates at the Serpent's Tongue. Commander, you have charge over this effort. I'm losing the voices, so I just kind of want to <laughs> read it normally. Be mindful that the lady of the land there is devilish for attacking forces. Let the foreign levy spearhead the assault and have subsequent use, uh, units fan out and cover their flanks. At the selfsame moment, the diversionary squadron formed, a, formed of galleons from the Crimson Fleet shall harry the enemy from offshore. And likewise, we sign shall form smaller units in hopes of confusing the Sahagan defensive effort. Nia and Yustola, 
the two of you are to make your way to the site of the summoning ritual. The Admiral's diversion should serve to thin the enemy defenses, rendering your path less perilous. A small party, I believe, should uh, be able to win through without drawing unwarranted attention. Thancred in Yugiri, your mission is to lure as many Sahagin as possible out of the spawning grounds. Having done so, take your heels and circle round and join the infiltrated Shin unit of Yastola and Nia. When all has been set in motion, I myself shall cut a path to the Aetherite, accompanied by Lady Menphilia, as agreed. Well, don't let me keep you, friends. To battle! And off we go. The operation is starting. When last did we fight side by side, Nia? Too long ago, I warrant. But come, let us away. Good to be in your company again, your Stola. She was such a cutie. I mean, <laughs> let's be real. Most of the ladies in this game, most ladies in most Japanese games, unless they're like disabledly old, <laughs> like the old crippled lady, the old fat lady, like clearly the the hag of the of the group. Uh, generally, ladies in Japanese media are just so cute. <laughs> All right, let's continue on the way then. We just got a little bit of traveling to do, making our way through the spawning grounds. As, of course, because we're overleveled, nothing will bother us, nothing will accost us. So it's kind of just like a boring straight trip through. Part of the reason why it's good to overlevel, but at the same time, it's uh, detrimental to your own enjoyment in certain aspects. Just being able to like blow through enemies and feel like a powerful god is great. But at the same time, some of the fun does, and I'll admit, does get taken away, but in the end, it's okay. All right, so there are some resistant forces here. Don't worry. We'll show them the true art of war. And finish them off relatively quickly. Momo, are you doing work out there? She's doing Choco Regen, which is nice. It's definitely nice and all, but I'd rather go into attacking stance. All right, Fate joined, but I'm not going to be doing it. Let's see who else is coming in. Once again, show them the Art of War. He's level 50 guys now, too, so like you said, you'll uh, we'll get the, the quest completed from Momo. There we go. Oh, didn't die there. All right, cool. Bosom Buddies is done. And I actually... Ooh, I'm sorry. There were, there were more. There were more that spawned right after. I figured that we were done, and we weren't. That's okay. Not too concerned about it, though. These guys will go down relatively easily with my next one. There we go. Anyone else? Is there like a boss that spawns? No. Good, good, good. But there is another little circle coming up here, so just have to be wary of it. Ooh, okay, there's three here, and then I spawned up another one, too. Interesting. So they got a drowned swordsman with this one. Interesting. I'm not going to worry about this. This attack, I'm just gonna keep on tanking through it. My armor and everything's good enough where I just don't really give a shit. Like, look, they didn't even do, like, damage to me. I dodged almost everything. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, well, let's continue going through. Ooh, the Extol. Huh? They want to play, huh? It's alright. They'll forget about us as soon as we go into the instance. Oops. Okay, or not. <laughs> alright, let's just get rid of them then. I don't know exactly when things stop or start ignoring you. I think it's like about 10 levels. So if I was to get up to a 58, I would probably be good, but eh, it is what it is. Yastola, what happened to you? Did you trip? Pray do not concern yourself. T'was but a glancing blow. Come, the eighth right is close at hand. Let us press on.
damn them. They have made thralls of soldiers and civilians both. Did I miss much? So that is how you fight in the Far East. Mental note, pick no quarrel with domains. But seriously, if I am to keep up, I must needs forsake elegance for efficiency. To the etherite. I don't give a shit what anyone says. These guys are killing it right now. Like the increase in quality just keeps on getting better and better with every new patch. That was sick. I don't understand why people hate this part of the game so much. It's not that bad. They say it's tedious, but I don't think it's that bad. That part was amazing. Give me my lateness. Dude, I'm telling you, it's so sick. How could you hate this part of the game when you get to see quality jumps like that? I've been something of a liability of late, I know. Tis high time I set about making amends. Long have you shriveled sewer walkers, tormented our kind. But no more! Your time is at an end! You shall perish with salt in your wounds and sea in your lungs. Lord of the world, hearken to our plea. Lord of the world, deliver us from our misery. Do you feel that? I know this sensation. It's the echo. What? I am 
It all. Where did he go? What say you? Nary a single ship? Hells take that sea demon! Gather the survivors and get to shore. Leave the wrecks for the pirates. Leviathan wastes no time. The diversionary squadron is lost. For a mercy, it would seem the primal now makes for open sea. But why does he not press his advantage? Unless... God save us! He means to unleash a tidal wave! Things are getting serious. <laughs> Leviathan has been summoned, and he's out to cause some trouble. All right, let's turn in our quest. Understand, I speak of no normal wall of water. That which Leviathan makes ready to conjure carries more destructive power than aught seen in nature. Enough to raz entire coastal settlements if his last attempt is any guide. We cannot suffer history to be repeated, yet how in seven hells are we to prevent it? That is the question of the hour. Into the heart of the world, Mirweb is brooding over Leviathan's return. Though our plight cries out for action, we must take thought. So long as Leviathan remains in open sea, he is effectively beyond our reach. Our fleet is second to none, of that you may be sure. But. Laliman, I don't even know, herself would struggle to best the lord of the world in his element. In a straight fight, he would make meat of match, meat and matchwood of us. We need another plan. That much is plain. Let us return to Limsa and see if we cannot think of one. I shall await you in the command room. One by one, all our friends fade away. And with that, the quest is complete. So now we just need to go back to Limsa Laminsa in order to formulate a plan on how to take down this primal with my bare knuckles. You're expected in the command room. Pray do not keep the Admiral waiting. All right. Pray tell me your plan. There used to be a hamlet beyond South Tidegate in Western Lanosha. 
Hearthstone it was called. Some years prior to the Maelstrom's founding, Leviathan rose from the briny depths and set about unleashing watery hell upon us. On that occasion, the company of heroes put him down before he could do too much damage. But when the bastard came next, this time in the wake of the Calamity, we were not so fortunate. Weary of ravaging our shoreline, he summoned a tidal wave which fair leveled Hearthstone and washed the soil away for good measure. The area was subsequently occupied by the Sahagin. Aye, the thrice damned creatures transformed it into a spawning ground for their brood. Given the quantity of crystal stolen to feed him and his legion of thralls, we can be fairly sure that Leviathan is stronger now than in his previous incarnations. If that sea demon is left to wreak havoc, what befell Hearthstone may well befall a larger settlement, even Limsa. That cannot happen. The primal must be stopped. That was ever our objective, Admiral. But how are we to achieve it? The sea is Leviathan's uncontested domain. The ships of the Third Squadron could not close to within a hundred yards of the Primal, nor could their cannons pierce his defenses. I have read the reports, Master Thancred. Our warships may as well have been bloody pleasure barges for all the good they did. Seven Hells! Is there no way that we might strike back? The Company of Heroes defeated Leviathan, having first lured him into an inlet. But we must needs contend with him upon the open sea. It will avail us little to consult past experience. Admiral, if I may. Speak freely, Marshal. By all accounts, Leviathan's most formidable weapon is the very sea itself. Waves and whirlpools, tides and currents, all these things are his to command. The key to victory, I believe, lies in disarming our foe. This, in effect, is what the company of heroes achieve with their ruse. We cannot lure Leviathan from the sea a second time. But what if we could weaken his hold upon the element of water? I have heard of devices capable of such wonders. They draw upon the power of corrupted crystals, I am told. If mounted upon a ship, such a device might be used to prevent Leviathan from bringing the full force of the sea to bear against us, rendering him no more dangerous than any other sea serpent. Of course! Sid built a similar device to grant the Enterprise safe passage through Garuda's Tempest, did he not? Begging your pardon, my lady, but to give credit where it's due, this is something I heard from an old arcanist friend of mine. It makes little difference who thought of it first, so long as it works. Beg the specifications of this device from your friend, and I shall pass them on to our people at Naldic and Vermelis. But before we proceed any further, I would voice one concern. Piercing Garuda's defenses is one thing. Suppressing Leviathan's attacks quite another. In matters of science, I am as a babbling babe. But I cannot well imagine that such a feat would be possible without a veritable mountain of corrupted crystals. The question being, do we have a ship big enough to bear such a burden? Mayhap not, Admiral, but too might. Recall you the tale of Mistbeard's greatest haul? It is said that he lashed two ships together, side by side, the better to bear his plunder. By your leave, we might attempt to repeat the trick. The gods know it would be quicker than building a new vessel. Mistbeard did this. 
Truly, Marshal. Upon the subject of the Pirate King, you are as a scholar. Now, from what I have gleaned of these matters, the device will need to be in close and constant proximity to the target. To wit, we must lash our twin vessel to Leviathan. This in itself will be no small feat. Ramming speed will be required, but given the weight of the cargo, that will only be attainable with the aid of a towing vessel. Suffice it to say, the task of piloting said vessel will entail considerable danger, and I would not ask it of another. I volunteer myself. It will be dangerous for all involved, but we have no better recourse. Very well. Commodore, assemble the remnants of the fleet at Moraby Bay. Give priority to our soundest vessels. The repairs can wait. Storm Marshal Slatherson, command of the operation is yours. I want that twin vessel ready to sail post-haste. At once, Admiral. And then there is the small matter of slaying the beast. The fate of Limsa Lominsa rests upon your shoulders once again. Go well, warrior of light. Oh man, everyone in this game is so freaking cool! I love it! <laughs> They're so much better than the base game. Like, everyone gets elevated to the umpty degree. I love it. All right, let's see what Yugiri has before we finish off this mission in this episode. Beings held as gods also exist in what you call the Far East. Legends tell us that they walked among us in days of yore, but I confess that I never truly believe them. That I should live to behold one is humbling and horrifying in equal measure. Now that I have come face to face with a primal, I do begin to understand why the Garleans fear them so. What is this? A message, Admiral. I judge it best that it be delivered at once. I am listening. According to the Yellow Jackets, a man has appeared who claims to have defeated Leviathan. One of the Company of Heroes. The details are yet hazy, Admiral. We have dispatched one of our own to question the individual. Hmm. I am disinclined to put any store by this claim, and even should it be true, it is as Yastola said, none save the company of heroes have bested Leviathan, and we know how they went about it. If this man is of their number, what could he tell us that we do not know already? And yet, having wagered Limsa's survival on two ships, some rope, and a pile of crystals, can we afford to ignore this man? If his testimony could yield us any manner of advantage, should we not hear it? Damn it all! The twin vessel will soon be ready. We have no time to wait for the Maelstrom's report on the supposed Primal Slayer's claims. Nia, seek him out and learn what he knows. At the very least, it will spare you the torment of waiting for the reckoning in idleness. The man you're looking for is believed to be a resident of Grey Fleet in the Lower Lenoskia. The storm private sent to question him should already be in the vicinity. May your journey prove fruitful. Mm, I don't know. I think we've heard of such tales before. Something seems awful suspect about this. Well, we'll go take a quick gander. See who's telling the truth. Alright, let's see. Well, if this is the area I need to be in... Uh-oh. I think I know where this is going. Oh, man. 
Now look here, you. You'll have your bloody story right after you carry those sacks of grain over to the mill. B but sir, that what you said before you had me pick up, bef um, pick up those oranges for you. And before I mucked out the chocobo stables. And before I rolled that millstone over the mill. And also before... Gods, man, I've rode three days straight without a wink of sleep. Three days! And do you hear me complaining? Bah, I suppose some of us just ain't made for the rougher stuff. All right, all right, I'll give you what you want. Never let it be said that old Tachtome ain't a generous soul. Now, pick up your ears, because I won't be repeating myself. Too modest, see? Besides, there's only so much epicness a man can take in one sitting. You keen? Ah, the tale of Tra Trachtome's epic victory over the dreaded primal Liavitus. Now, Liavitus, huge, make no mistake, Nile Liavitus is huge, make no mistake. To give you an idea how big, each of his scales is about as wide across as a member's long, and that's no mean feat, let me tell you. When I fought him, I could barely see for all the brine he was pelting me with. Must have been a lagoon's worth, at least. He even knocked me trusty axe out of me hands at one stage. Of course, that proved to be a grave mistake. <laughs> What happened next? Why, I grabbed him by the tail and tied him up into knots. But not wanting to take all the glory for myself, I let me mates in the company of heroes handle the rest. Like I said, I'm modest as well as heroic. Mayhaps too modest. Now, there's some as say we, uh, ye can never truly beat Leobitus. That you've got to learn to live with him and make the best of a bad situation. Not the company, he, not the company, though. Oh, why, hello, Tratch. Uh, it's you! I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I was just enjoying the attention, is all. I take back everything I said. I was never part of the company heroes. I'm no marauder. I'm actually a complete coward. I'm nothing. A chocobo dung. Uh, no, I'm back. It's you find Riley in your chocobo dung. I have to lie to women to tumble them. Oh, Jesus, guy. And that don't happen much. Me members tiny. It's pathetic. My God, dude. Calm down. I sure as hell didn't fight Lave Beatus, but, but I have seen him with my own eyes. Twas a fair few years back, when I was working as a baker's hand. I was shirking my duties one day, loitering about the arbor, when I saw it. A great big mass sea servant, uh, some mom off the coast, with a fleet of galleons making straight for it, cannons firing. I was so bloody scared, I soiled myself right there and then. Oh god, just remembering that day made me soil myself all over again. Hey, wait. If you're here asking after Liabetus, uh, it means you're planning to fight him, ain't you? Well, take care. He really is terrible, dreadful, I tell you. If you're not careful, you'll end up in his gullet or the bottom of the sea. Why, you worthless lying horse son, I can't believe you made me handle chocobo dung. Nia, this is Minfelia. Were you able to learn art from the uh, art of use against Leviathan? I beg your pardon? Liabetus? I see. That is unfortunate. At any rate, I have, th I have tidings for you. The twin vessel is now complete. We await you at the Moor Bay dry, uh, dry Docks. Pray make your way here as soon as you are able. And with that... We once again have unfortunately had a run win with Tratch Tom. The freaking idiot. The freaking idiot. Alright, let's go to the Morabi Dry Docks. And if we uh, head out on around this way, let's get a mount out. It's a little bit of. It's not like a hike or anything. Actually, I'm mistaken. I'm sorry. It's actually right over here and down this way. Right tucked in the corner. Alright, once we finish this Leviathan fight, we'll actually open up. 
I'm told your jaunt to the Grey Fleet uh, proved you fruitless. My sympathies, lass. I'll wager it served to take your mind off the events of recent days, though. But enough of that nonsense. The moment of truth is upon us. The twin vessel, the, the Whirl Eater, I call her, is complete, and she'll surpass all expectations. In addition to her progenist ton Tonzag, yeah, sure. Uh, she has been fitted with a platform that you and yours might maneuver freely in battle. I would mention also that she is nigh unsinkable, but I am not one to tempt fate. The Whirl Eater and her crew stand ready, my friend. Just give the word and we shall bear you to Leviathan. And with that, Into the Heart of the Whirl is complete. In the next episode that will be out tomorrow, we will fight Leviathan and finish up the patch 2.2 through the Maelstrom. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and looking forward to the next. I'll see you all later. Peace out and much love to you.